I'm joined with Dr. Neki Jamal from Wayside Dental. And uh, normally we come in, you come in and you chat about <laughs> what you do at Wayside. But yeah. uh, you had a recent adventure and uh, we yeah. wanted to sit you down and pick your brain about it because you do something that's pretty cool. So do you want to kind of explain where you were and uh, what you were doing? Sure. Uh, uh, this year um, we were in a couple of team members from our office. Uh, we went to Costa Rica mm -hmm. and Guatemala mm -hmm. to provide uh, dental services for people that uh, don't get to go see the dentist, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, it's just it's my favorite time of year, and I, I go every year, and it's it's awesome. Yeah. So you were saying that you've uh, you've done this a couple times, and yeah. uh, what kind of originally before you went, what kind of made you want to get into doing that? Yeah, um, I started in 2009, yeah. and so this is my 15th trip down there wow. uh, to do dental work. Um, you know, in all honesty, I started looking for an adventure mm -hmm. and I never got the opportunity to travel when I was younger. So yeah. I, I went out looking for an adventure and I never thought in a million years it would have such a huge impact on my life. Yeah. And uh, you know the old saying, uh, sometimes you don't pick your profession, your profession picks mm -hmm. you. Um, I didn't know anything about dentistry when I was, when I just graduated, you know, you know, you know the technical yeah. things, but you don't know the impact you can have on people. Mm -hmm. And until I went to my first time to in Guatemala, in 2009 I truly felt the impact our profession can have on the world mm -hmm. and it completely changed my life and I just feel so fortunate to provide care to them. Mm -hmm. Absolutely yeah. and then that way you can kind of you do what you do here in Lloydminster but you can definitely reach out and you feel like oh, you've yeah. uh, been able to do that so that's very cool. Um, yeah. What kind of uh, stuff is what kind of services are you providing down there? Uh, we do everything from uh, basic fillings and yeah. checkups and cleanings uh, and unfortunately, a lot of time we're pulling teeth. Mm -hmm. And so we do a lot of extractions mm -hmm. uh, down there. There's a lot of abscesses and infection. And, mm -hmm. and our main goal is to get people out of pain. And we're providing a lot of emergent care. And so we do what we can, uh, when we can. And, and uh, we're in a new village every day. Mm -hmm. And so we'll see lineups of well over 100 people waiting to see us. And so we work until it's pitch black and there's no more lines. That's crazy. Yeah. So yeah, you, I was going to ask you kind of what that day schedule looks like. Oh, so start to finish, yeah. you just get up early and Yeah, and so we, we travel with a group of about 20 people mm -hmm. and uh, we just work as hard as we can and, and we see as many people as we can. And, and no matter what happens at the end of the day, like more and more people start piling in and, yeah. and you tell them where you're going to be the next day so they can get a, 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 a yeah, you they know, just like get follow you. Yeah, and they follow us around until wow. they're seen, yeah. What a crazy experience. Yeah, so uh, just quickly, I kind of, you, you want to continue doing this, obviously. Yeah, we, this kind of spurred into another project um, that I called Quench, oh, uh, cool. where we actually drill water wells in the communities that we do dental work in. Because mm -hmm. a lot of times the reason their teeth are so poor is because they're drinking a lot of pop. Mm. And pop is cheaper than water in Central mm. America. And so everyone's teeth are just horrible and they just don't have the education that maybe we have here. Right. And so they're drinking a lot of pops. We wanted to, you know, change their lives by bringing water to them, fresh, clean water. Water's life. Yeah. And so it's it's really had a huge impact on, on myself, my office, and everyone just wants to get involved, in, and that just warms my heart. Yeah, that's very yeah. cool. Super cool. Well, we thank you so much for coming yeah, in today thanks. and talking about your story <laughs> and, and what you do. It's it's very important to uh, spread what you can, your oh, knowledge and everything you. like that. So yeah. thank you so much for coming in today. Thanks. It's always a pleasure to have you. Thank you so much. Yeah.